All right, welcome to my Shadow Strike pack review. So as you can see in the item shop today, we've got a brand new pack called the Shadow Strike. And as you can see, you can either buy them individually if you want. They're all 1500 And then they all have their assorted pickaxes as well, or you can buy the pack right here. So obviously this is what I'm gonna be purchasing and this is what I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys. So it looks like you get three skins and you save a whopping 1700 V-Bucks in purchasing this pack. However, it does not come with the pickaxes. So you will have to buy those separately. And of course this cannot be gifted either. This is just a V-Bucks only purchase. So I'll be showing you gameplay and giving my thoughts and opinions as well as whether or not this is worth 2800 V-Bucks. All right, so there you go. These are all part of the Shadow series. You get the Shadow Archetype, the Night Gunner, as well as the Mecha Team Shadow. Now, I will have to purchase the Shadow Combo Cleaver as well, which is for 800 V-Bucks. So let's go ahead and claim that one. Those are some big pickaxes. And by the way, if you own the original Mecha Team Leader, you saw these briefly. These showed up as an additional style for your pickaxes but then they took it out of the game, obviously for this pack. And last but not least, the Shadow Caliper. So this goes with the archetype. This one looks pretty plain, but we'll have to see it in game. This one's 500 going in. There she is, the Shadow Caliper. All right, so I think that's everything. I don't see any gliders or any wraps, so that should be it. All right, so we'll start with a brief locker review, and then I'll show you some actual in-game gameplay. So oddly enough, they are all part of the Shadow series, but they're all the way down here in my locker. Now, I do own more Shadow series items, so look where these are placed, all the way up here. Why are these four right here all together, but the other three are way down, halfway down my locker? I have no idea. Now, if you thought that was irritating, look at the pickaxes. So the Shadow combo cleavers are all the way up here by itself, if I go down a little bit, we've got the Stark Splitter and the Shadow Strikers all the way down here. And then even further down is one of the new ones all the way down here all by itself. What in the world? Why are these not all grouped together? So I just wanted to show all the Shadow characters I own. I think these are all the ones in the game. But they all have that same awesome black and bright white style to them. All right, so let's start with the Shadow Archetype here. So I don't own the original one of this. So in that regard, it's a brand new skin to me, even though it's not really. Now you come into this pack expecting them to be very bland and very dull, and that's because they're all black and a little bit of white. But in game, they should look much, much nicer than this. So that's the case here. There's not much going on. You just have a solid black outfit. He does have those little mechanical bits for eyes and a face, which is creepy as all get out. And his back bling is pretty plain as well. Almost got that black urban wrap effect to it. And he's got a few magazines stuffed in his backpack as well as a radio. So just a very bland skin. I'm anxious to see what this looks like in game because I think it glows quite a bit, but we'll see. Next up is the Night Gunner. And again, I do not own the original skin for this one. Now, one of the selling points for these Shadow Pack characters are the white eyes. And we didn't see it with this guy because he doesn't really have eyes, but you can clearly see on the Night Gunner. Now, I'm not sure what that little bit of white is right below his neck. It's on his chest area. What is that? Why is there a little sliver of white right there? Is that a glitch? I guess he's also got one on his back, right above his back bling. Once again, though, a pretty bland character. It basically takes away all his flamboyant colors of the original skin and just leaves him in all black. But these are very stealthy skins, which is kind of cool. Now the same thing for the back bling, it's just completely black and white, which kind of looks weird with the llama theme going on there. Not bad though, if you're a fan of stealthy black in this game, you should enjoy this skin. And last but not least, we have the Mecha Team Shadow. So once again, as expected, all the vibrant colors have been removed from this character and he's just black and just a little bit of white. I'm curious to see what this one looks like in game because there's not much on him that could glow other than his eyes. I really kind of wish that heart, the broken heart on his right, would glow white, but it doesn't appear to because it looks silver. Now, once again, I do not own this original skin, so that is one of the reasons I personally wanted this pack because I don't own any of the three original ones. And this guy was all sorts of colors, this guy was green, and this guy was a lot of pink and all different colors as well. So it sucked out all the colors on these and just made them the Shadow Series black and white. Now, this one, believe it or not, may be my favorite. I'll have to see in game, but. It takes the cartoony craziness out of him and makes him like a stealth robot, almost like a Gundam wing. I really like this. 
So I'm going to start with Mecha Team Shadow, and we do have his pickaxes equipped as well, sold separately as I showed. Now as for a glider, I don't think I own any Shadow Series gliders. I don't even know if there are any. This is the only one that pops up for Shadow, but it's obviously not a Shadow Series, it's the Shadow Stalker. Hmm. So I guess you're looking for just a jet black, maybe even a black and white glider. I think the one shot would definitely do it justice. Now for a wrap, I do own three Shadow Series wraps, but they're pretty similar. This one right here is called Array, which of course is white with a little black animation. And this one's called Contrast, which is more black and less white. And then the Shadow Angular Shift is almost like a silver. So I'm going to try this one because there is a little bit of silver in the Mecha Team Shadow. All right, so that's my loadout. Let's check this bad boy out in game. All right, so it looks like we're in the early morning hours here. So we obviously need nighttime to see the full effect of the glowing white. So I'm going to have to stay alive a bit. Yeah, so the Mecha Team Shadow is more of a silver color. You can see, compared to my one-shot umbrella, he's a little more lighter and not so much black. But you can see his back bling is already starting to glow a little white, and we're in the light of day. So I'm very curious what that looks like at night. All right, so here we are at night. Much, much better to look at. I tried to play a normal match just to see, but it never got nighttime. I was waiting forever. So let's take a peek at what we got here. You can see the back bling lights up tremendously. There's lights all around it, just on the bottom of it. See if anything happens when we jump. No, nothing happens when you jump. The pickaxes also light up white. You can see along the middle of the sword as well as on the hilt. Pretty sweet there. So Mecha Team Shadow has a billion lights on him, on his butt, on the back of his hands, the back of his legs, and underneath his forearms as well. So this is what the pickaxes sound like. Nice metallic clinging noise. You get a little bit of a white contrail, but it's not exactly shadow related. I think that's just because of the blades. It's not bad. So let me spin him around because I can't see the front of him very well. Oh yeah, okay, so he's got a bunch of lights on the front. Fortunately, like I thought, that heart does not light up. Oh, someone told me to do the tippy tap to see better on the front. Let's see. Oh yeah. So clearly, the heart doesn't light up, but his eyes do, and the front of his arms, and I think the front of his legs. Let's see when he turns around again. Yeah, so he's got a lot of white lights on him. And they don't exactly light up that well during the day. It's more so at night. But you can see at night, it's clearly evident. Very, very nice. Now, one thing to note, the original Mecha Team Leader comes with a built-in emote, whereas this guy does not have that. So that's kind of weird. I thought for sure they would include that, but they did not. So no built-in emote for Mecha Team Shadow. Unfortunate. So next up, we're going to do the Shadow Archetype, and I'm going to do the exact same loadout. I'm going to keep this Shadow Angular Shift camo and the umbrella, and I'm going to put his pickaxe on as well. Wow, so the underside of his feet are bright, bright white. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, so we're starting in daylight here, just to get a feel on what he looks like during the day. So, he's got not as much white on him as Mecha Team Shadow, but it's a bit more prevalent. Because Mecha Team Shadow had a bunch of little white lights where he's got quite a few big stripy ones. So first, let's take a look at the pickaxe. You can see the very, very bottom loop, whatever that is, lights up. The blade itself has two spots where it lights up. And then there's two white spots in the middle that light up. Let's see if it has a contrail. Uh, just like the Mecha Team Shadow one, it's just a slight white one. It's got a squeaky type noise, though. I'm not a big fan of that. Now, the back bling is probably the most disappointing aspect here because only three things light up. The walkie-talkie on the left there with just a little light. I can't get there. To, ah, every time I turn, he turns. There, you can see. Ah, you butthead. He keeps turning. So on the left, there's a little walkie-talkie and just a sliver of it lights up. Likewise, in the center, just that little sliver. And on the right, a little bigger box right there. So other than that, that's kind of disappointing. Nothing really standoutish about it. I guess the antenna on the walkie-talkie lights up a little bit too. Now the top of his head has a huge white spot. And he's got that stripe right down the back. And a bunch of little... Oh, it's his ammo. His ammo tips have that white color. But his shoes are so obnoxiously white. 
Why did they do that? I don't like that at all. <laughs> All right, let me do the tippy tap. We'll spin him around. Okay, so he's got knee guards, and yes, I assume his weird mechanical eyes light up as well. But we'll have to wait until nightfall to see that. I don't know. I kind of like Mecha Team Shadow better than this guy. And again, his original colors are green and black, so it all depends on what you like, I guess. If you're a big fan of the bright white in this game, you may enjoy this. Right, let me grab a weapon so we can see what the wrap looks like while we wait for darkness. All right, so there you go. There's the wrap. It kind of flows. I guess if you want a more white one, like I showed earlier, there was a Shadow Series one that was extremely white. That might work better, actually. All right, so now we just need to wait until nightfall to see the full extent of his shadowy goodness. All right, so the sun is finally going down here. You can see. See how much we glow come nighttime. Look at those shoes, though. I can't imagine they're going to get any worse than that, but I have a feeling they are because they're going to glow extremely bright. All right, so here we go. You can see the sun is almost 100% down. Boy, that is so bright, it almost hurts my eyes. <laughs> Look at how bright he becomes. You can see the pickaxe, extremely bright. His shoes are up there as well. It almost looks like he's an angel with that glow. Is very, very bright. Let's do the tippy tap. We'll see the front of him. I do like the mechanical eyes, though. That's pretty sweet. Not bad. Definitely looks way, way better at night. Even in the sunset, though, it was definitely starting to light up. Boy, Galactus is almost as big as the moon there. Look at that. He's getting closer. So, yeah, not too bad with Mr. Archetype. But like I said, I think I like Mr. Mecha Shadow better. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Night Gunner does not have a Shadow Pickaxe, which is a little confusing to me. But he does have his Thunder Crash one, which is reactive, but it definitely does not fit the black and white theme. But I guess if you bought this pickaxe, you could use it anyway. It kind of goes with either of the characters. And if you have some of the other Shadow skins, theirs would work as well, like the Shadow Strikers, the Stark Splitter. Those both flow pretty nicely. And this time, I'm going to change the wrap to the more white prominent one. Just because the white sticks out way, way more. So there you go, that is my loadout. Now let's check him out in game. Oh boy, looks like we're starting this match in nighttime. Again, look at the shoes, why are they so white? All right, so Night Gunner's back bling by far is my favorite. Just by looking at it right here, you can see as I thought, the entire llama scene lights up. That's pretty sweet. Look how bright the pickaxe is, too. Again, that's not his. That was one from a prior pack. So he's got a nice arm guard that lights up beautifully. Let's spin him around real quick before the sun comes out. Where's Tippy Tap? There it is. I'm sure his eyes are going to light up. Yes. And that little sliver of white on the front also lights up. Well, he's pretty nice. I mean, he doesn't have as much white on him, but I think his back bling makes up for it. Not bad. Let me try to grab a weapon real quick. Those shoes, though, I don't know why that drives me to drink, but just when he runs, it looks obnoxious. Same thing with the archetype. He had those same goofy, bright white clown shoes. So to be honest, his white colors actually look the best out of all three characters in the daylight. On all the other characters, it seemed to fade just a bit, but look at his back bling. That's just as bright as it was at night. That's weird. So let's look at this camo real quick. Oh yeah, I think this one actually looks a lot better. I can't remember if this was called Array or Contrast, but it was one of those. So this was from a prior Shadow Pack. How about on this? Yeah, look at the white. The white and the black flow magnificent. Can you even notice it on the pistol? Eh, it's kind of hard to see on the pistol. So I'm pleasantly surprised by Mr. Night Gunner. I think this is my favorite one. He's just the right amount of black meets white. So there you go, that was the in-game footage for the Shadow Strike pack. Now if I had to do some rankings here, I would say Night Gunner by far is my favorite, and his back bling for sure is my favorite. Then I would say Mecha Team Shadow, just because he is a bit more bulky and he's definitely unique. And last but not least, I would say the archetype. Now the real question here is should you buy this for 2800 V-Bucks? And the answer depends on if you own any of the original characters or not. Like I stated at the beginning of this review, I didn't own any of these three characters. So for me, it was like purchasing three brand new characters for a discounted price. 
And if that's how you are as well, then I'd say this is definitely 100% worth it. Now, if you own these three skins or even some of them already, I don't know if I would buy this. It all depends on if you like the shadow style. Because like I said, it basically sucked all the fun colors out of these skins and just turned them a dull black and white that light up extremely well at night. Some people like that and some people don't. I know the pros in particular do not like glowing at night, especially with this white bright color like that. But at the same time, their colors were a bit flamboyant to begin with. So it's not like you weren't sticking out already. Now I am disappointed that the Mecha Team Shadow did not come with his original built-in emote. I think that 100% should have been included. And I am disappointed that you had to purchase the pickaxes separately, not to mention one of the characters doesn't even get a pickaxe. So this is a toss up for me. Like I said, if you don't own any of these skins, it's a must buy in my opinion. If you do own them, I'd say it's a 50-50. Whether or not you like the shadow style should persuade you one way or another. But let me know in the comments what you think. Would you buy this pack? Is this something you're interested in? And what do you think overall of the Shadow Strike pack? That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.